art time. Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Gabby. I'm a local Madeira art teacher. I graduated from UCLA in Los Angeles and now I am studying art history at the New York University. Today we are going to learn how to draw a gingerbread candy house. The materials that you will need for today's lesson are a pencil. Make sure you use a wooden pencil or a lead pencil, but make sure you have an eraser nearby. I will use a black marker so you can see my bold lines. Once you're done with your artwork, you may color it however you wish. You may use any art materials you have around the house, such as markers, paints, crayons, or even pastels. Throughout the video, we will see vocabulary art words such as repetition, shapes, space, illusion, and other words. Now that we have all of our materials, ready, set, draw your marks. The first shape that we are going to draw is a big rectangle. Make sure to draw a big rectangle so you can have enough space inside to draw additional designs such as a door, windows, and other things that we will be drawing together. There's no need to rush your art. I will pause after each step to give you time to catch up. The next part of the house that we are going to draw is the roof. We will begin to draw the line from the top left corner of your rectangle to make a triangle for the rooftop. Draw your line and then do the same thing for the other side. Now that you have the body of the house and the roof, let's go ahead and draw frosting along the edge that looks like snow by making curved lines that look like waves all along the border. At the top left corner and right corner, let's go ahead and make two small lines going outwards. This will be the extended bottom part of the roof. Just how you drew the waves at the top of the roof, you are going to draw the same waves 
all across the bottom portion of the roof, like this. Once you have that, let's go ahead and draw lines, like this. At the center of the roof, we are going to draw a big circle. We will make the circle into a candy. This will be our candy. Guide us, let's draw one dot in the center. From that dot, we are going to draw two curved lines. And then two more. and repeat the process one more time. Now we have a candy! The curved lines going the same direction gives the illusion that the candy is spinning. All houses need a very important part. What do you think that is? A door! Let's go ahead and draw a door. You may draw your door like a long rectangle or a curved door. I am going to draw a curved door. It will look like this. You start at the bottom of the rectangle, you go up, and then curve, and bring it back down. It's like drawing a long rainbow. Now we need a doorknob. For the doorknob, let's go ahead and draw a small circle. Now let's draw a small window at the top of the door. Let's draw a curved line like a small rainbow and then a line at the bottom connecting the ends. Once you have connected the ends, let's draw a V in the center.
this little window might even look like a little lemon slice or an orange slice. What is another important part that all houses need, besides the door? All houses must have windows. So let's go ahead and draw a window. We are going to draw a rectangle next to the door. For the window, depending on how big or small you drew your house, you may draw a rectangle or a square shaped window. To make the window frame, we will draw two lines horizontal from side to side and then two lines going vertical up and down, down and up. Once you have those lines, go ahead and make a line on each side of the window and then two more lines one at the bottom and one at the top. Now that we have the window, we are going to draw a bar at the bottom of the window. This is usually where people have plants, but in this case, we are going to make this bar to later on add lines like the candy cane. So this will be our candy cane bar our candy cane window bar. Like I said earlier, let's go ahead and draw diagonal lines, like this. At the front of the house, instead of drawing bushes, we are going to draw gummies. The gummies should be drawn like an arc, just like wide, short rainbows. You may draw as many as you can fit at the bottom of your house. For my house, I was only able to fit three. Once you have drawn your gummies, we are going to draw these highlights. For the highlights, let's draw skinny triangles. towards the right side. Mm -hmm. 
Now for the right side of the house, we are going to draw a bar, also on the left side. Once you have the lines, let's go ahead and make small diagonal lines just like you did by the window for our candy cane decorations. Now next to the candy, at the front of the house, we are going to draw gumballs. Draw a circle and then a small triangle highlight. Do the same thing for the left side. A circle and then a skinny long triangle highlight. The gingerbread house is looking amazing! You are really putting in a good effort. On the right side of the house, we are going to draw our first tree. For the trees, we are going to draw lollipops. First, Go ahead and draw a big circle. Depending on the size of your circle, it will determine how big or small your trees will be. Then go ahead and draw your trunk. In this case, the trunk will be the stick of the lollipop. To draw the spiral of the lollipop, we are going to begin at the center. Then slowly start making your spiral. Then, draw more trees at the left side of your house. Depending on how much space you have, you might be able to add two, three, or even four trees. And then draw your trunks. For the second tree, we are going to make this tree into a candy like the top of the roof. 
follow the same steps as the candy. Make a mark at the center of the circle and then start adding curved lines. All going one direction, like this. For the third tree, we are going to make a spiral lollipop. Begin at the center and start curving your pencil like if you were making an endless circle, from smaller to bigger. If you have more space, you may go ahead and draw more trees. Who knows, you might end up with a forest full of lollipop trees. And then add the last trunk. And then add the spiral at the center of the lollipop, just how we have been doing. Since there is another gap over here, on the right side, let's make a circle for another tree. And then the dot to guide us for the center. And our curved lines. So our lollipop candy can be spinning. And the trunk. Now that we are all done with our trees, let's go ahead and draw some steps right outside the door. Draw the steps like if you're drawing long elongated rectangles. You may draw two or three or as many as you wish. Now that we are done with the front door steps, let's draw 
a walkway leading to the house. Right below our trees, we are going to draw bushes. But these bushes are made out of ice cream scoops that are about to melt. Make wavy lines, like if you're drawing fluffy clouds. I will be showing you step by step very slow so you can all see how I am overlapping the bushes. Drawing some bushes in the front and others in the back. So we can see the front, middle and back bushes perfectly. Do the same thing on the left side at the bottom of your trees. Feel free to take the next minute or two to finish drawing your trees and bushes. Now, I'm about to show you how to draw a gingerbread man or a gingerbread boy. The first shape that we are going to draw is an oval. Now that we have our oval, let's go ahead and draw the arms. My arms are wide open. Ready for a hug. Once you have your arms, go ahead and draw the legs. Now, let's continue to the face. 
you may draw your eyes however you want. I am adding eyebrows and a happy face. This ginger boy is going to have a bow. To draw a bow, first draw an oval, then the side of the bows, and some buttons. Make sure to add wavy lines by the hands and the feet. I will show you in a bit the feet. For the ice cream bushes, I am going to draw some sprinkles. For the sprinkles, let's draw small skinny rectangles. You may also add some sprinkles that are shaped like little circles. Some rectangle sprinkles and some circle sprinkles. But for my drawing, I'm just putting the long rectangles.
the ice cream bushes with the sprinkles already look very yummy. Now let's move on to drawing the sidewalk bricks. For the bricks, you may also draw them like rectangles, but with some of the edges a bit round. We will do this all along the walkway. Congratulations! By following every step, you have been able to draw a wonderful gingerbread candy house with the forest full of lollipops, some delicious ice cream bushes with very colorful sprinkles that you will color later on, and your cute little creature. In this case, we drew a gingerbread boy. At the front of the house, you may draw any other character you would like. You may even draw some of the characters I have shown you in our previous art lessons. Remember that every artist always signs their artwork once they have completed their masterpiece. I am going to write here on the left side Teacher Gabby, but you may choose either the left side or the right side to write your name. Now that your drawing is complete, you are welcome to color it however you would like. Here is an example of my drawing. I colored it like this. I hope this inspires you to color it however you want. And however you decide, I'm sure is going to look fantastic. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson just as much as I did. I will see you in our next art lesson. Goodbye for now.